All right, guys, what's going on? Got a special install today. We waited over six months for this. Seeing it at Tokyo Auto Salon, had to have it. We'll get right into the unboxing. Got a special guest in the house, Honda Pro Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I got the cotton gloves on. You guys probably want to know what it is. So we want to handle it with uh, special care because we want to get the oils all over it. Look at this. I don't know, we gotta see what tips he picked. By the way, so this vlog is sponsored by Envision Auto Imports. They're the ones that got us the uh, exhaust for the FL5. So when you order this exhaust, it allows you three options. Full raw, half, or full burnt tips. And then the top dog has, uh, they call it the gold ring. I don't know what we got, so let's, uh, let's get right into it. Let's unbox this thing. Ooh, that's sexy. Come over here, John, and check this out. It has a serial number and everything, too. Look at that, you guys. Unbelievable. Oh, let's see. Let's see what Do the middle one. Do the middle one? Yeah, okay, let's see what G Dog got us. Thank you again, Envision Auto Imports. Always coming through. Oh, you ordered the full. Damn, let's so check out this gold ring. Look at that. Look at the welds on this, you guys. Okay, let's try this one too. Woo! It's tight. Maybe you, I, I'll, I'll show you on the other side. And you gotta order another one put it on your wall. There, look at that. So that, that's another option that you can get is the engraving of R1 Titan. Ooh! Nice! <laughs> Stacking dimes is what they call it. That burnt titanium. Oof. Okay, let's get right into the install. Okay. So they got the hardware, and I believe and those are also titanium and your new gaskets. Of course, that. Mounting hardware. Super light. These are titanium too. Put it put it over your shoulder. <laughs> you gotta get the stance. So <laughs> you can go ahead and pop that out the door if you want. So because I, uh, my goal in mind is to have a streetable car, so with Amuse you can actually order with no resonator, one resonator, or of course we have two. Relatively it's not going to be super loud, hopefully not, so that we can actually vlog and talk in the car. Let me go see if I can uh, weigh this to see how much it weighs. So here's the plan, so obviously the Amuse or aftermarket ones are going to come in like separate pieces, unlike the factory one. So I don't want to scratch it all off, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure or weigh one at a time. 
So right now it's all zero and out. Eight point six. Eight point six. Okay, what do we got? Eighteen and a half. And eighteen eight point four kilos for you uh, you Americans. America. So what does that add up to, guys? Johnny? Twenty seven point one. A little yeah. quick math from the guy. 27 from uh, Honda Pro Jason. Mathematician. Me, me, me. I'm gonna see you guys one-handed. Not bad, eh? Ooh. Now you wanna show you guys? If you're wondering, we don't have to move the factory valve over here. We should just be able to just uh, plug it in. Looks like it. Looks like it. And just transfer it over and uh, the valve so that we can have it quieter when we want to. So to access or to remove the factory one, we got to access the three bolts up top here in front of the, well, behind the front pipe. So to get to that, we're just going to remove the lower uh, skid plate here. And then back here, we're going to remove the rear skid plate here too, or um, rear diffuser, this one, so we can get access to it. What's that? Just spray on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You guys, uh, you gotta give it the ha choo you gotta spit on that thing. I love you, Pookie. So, to remove this one, we gotta remove all of the plastic clips. There's like, I don't know, so many of them here. And then we gotta remove the 10 mil here, right by the sway bar, or the, uh, whatever, the brace, the power brace. And then there's a the push, the plastic one right here. Okay, and then we're gonna remove that. All right, so we got one hanger here, one hanger here. I need the light, can see. One, two, yep. Yeah. And then we got one hanger in the middle, this one here. And then three, 14 mils, and then the whole system should come out in one piece. And so we were told to uh, spray some lube on the hanger so it'd be easier to uh, slip them out of the, uh, out of the rubber piece there. Oh, there you go. There you go, impact. It wasn't even focused, I don't think. Oh. You see how it just moved? Mm -hmm. Honda Pro Jason, ready? Just kidding, just kidding. It's hanging, man. Just hanging. Yeah, hanging. It's real good. Make sure it's seated in there. By the way, we're going to a car show tomorrow, you guys. And uh, I was gonna go do this vlog until I got back from the car show, but you know, it's, it's our last car show of the year, so why not? Let's go all in on it, right? Okay, that's loose. And now let's go and uh, we should leave the middle hanger first, eh, Cliff? Oh, sorry, guys, there's two more, two more hangers here. Oh, man, how did I miss those? Right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this off this hanger first because it's not. Hanger remover tool. The best! Best tool in the world. Ooh! Oh, the best, but yet stuck. <laughs> oh, too good! Careful, eh? Break the lens. Then we're really crying. Demonetized and broken lens. Okay, that should be good. Oh, thank you. It was more for the video, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. This tool is the best, you guys. Best investment. I'm missing it. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, I got it. Actually, it should be okay. Oh, 
almost knocked the camera. Now we got two more. Honda Pro, would you stay there? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll switch you. This one's too tight, Jay. Can't get in there. Can't get in there with tool. Well, I guess you gotta use your pry bar. Pry bar? Yeah, pry bar. I mean, you know, normally you guys, we would just go ham on this and just not worry about uh, damaging, but we don't want to damage anything. This is a, uh, this is a show car. See, it's easy if you put lube, lube. Right? Yeah, lube, lube everything, lube, lube the world. Everything. Give it that hook to a, you know. Oh yeah, give it the hook to a, and spit on that thing. Hook to. <laughs> now I can get some. Now I get some merch now, Jay. Nothing that's yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, back your way. Way. Go back your way first. No. Hold that. You gotta disconnect your. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Don't forget that. That's very important. Thank you, Honda Pro Jason. Tip of the day. That would have screwed up already. Yeah. Right, go Very good. Okay, there's Jay. Okay, now down, Jay. Down on yours. Okay, now we come forward. Whoa, so heavy. Ooh, definitely ain't 27 pounds. This ain't one hand. <laughs> Three, man. Okay, ready? Any guesses, Jay? Under pro. Forty something pounds. There you go. Forty-one. Forty-one pounds. Oh. You know, I've never had a, an actual exhaust system in my car ever in my life. All the cars I've bought came with an exhaust system. Like I was telling uh, Claude there, first time I ever bought an exhaust system was I was so poor I couldn't afford an uh, exhaust. And I had to pass the outer province inspection on my MR2 because I bought it in BC. BC is the province over from Alberta. So I brought it home and then it had a hole in the exhaust. And the, only way, the only way to pass was I needed an exhaust system. So I just quad tubing and we welded it on it just that's how uh, come a long ways you guys come a long ways all right guys so when i took it out of the oem exhaust it was in the closed position so make sure when you put it back onto the uh, new exhaust here if it comes with the valve that it's in the uh, closed position it should fit right in that. Oh, we need screws. There they are. Oh my god, dropped it. Oh. Now we got too much. Uh, <laughs> you got paper towel, Jay? Self-explanatory because that one has two holes, this one has three for the front that uh, meets up with the uh, front punch. All right, technically you only need one guy to pick this up, it's not very heavy. Okay. <coughs> fucking spit on that thing. <laughs> it's Japanese, you know, JDM. Japanese. Don't do that, I could give you dirty looks. There? Yeah. Try and do, try and do that in Learn the hard way. Let me give him a dirty look. Okay, rotate close. Perfect. He wasn't Perfect. happy. He wasn't happy. You good? You want me to spit on it? No, because my finger's there. I don't want you to spit on my finger. Finger game strong, eh? A little more. Good. Slide it in. You want some loop? I can't get the uh, I can't get the angle. No, your your finger game not strong. It's because I'm I'm left-handed, man. You, 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 Johnny you. Sins is multi. Uh, uh, <laughs> we need Johnny Sins. Hundred Pro Jason, you're retired. All right. There we 
go. That's good. Okay, cool. Good for now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's good. Okay, you good? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Keep on Sami, keep on Sami, keep on Sami! Rock one! Come on. That's the middle one. It's still this, that's for these two. Keep on Sami, take it off. This ain't no honor bro, Jason. <laughs> that's not honey, he, he, that's Johnny Sins Johnny now. Sins, because he know, we know how to put into the holes. Every hole he sees. This is for the back one. Oh, you gotta put these on first. Okay. Just put the bolt on right here now. and the two bolts then. Um, bolt facing me, uh, facing this way, okay? Yeah. Facing the back? Uh, like the head of the bolt facing it. Grab all that hardware. I had the hardware in my hand. Back door. Back door. Back door. Some, some in or some out. <laughs> I just grabbed two on the floor. Close. Oh, you already got two? Yeah. Only, only two. Man, I almost wouldn't want to put the engine tray back on. This is so nice. You honestly should leave it off. They get all chipped up. Yeah, they will. For a car show, you should just take it off. In a mirror? Yeah. Look at that. Looks pretty centered, eh? Uh, don't taste me. with a couple of helping hands from friends, but oh, so nice you guys. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. This, is oh, like, man. this is like the ground tool right here. And uh, don't forget to plug in the, uh, the valve sensor you guys. Don't forget that because we did that last. But wow. My lord, thank you. This is beautiful. So we just got to put the uh, rear diffuser back on, but unfortunately, it's gonna cover up most of the stuff, but it's beautiful. Thank you, Envision Auto Imports, again for uh, sponsoring this video. Absolutely gorgeous exhaust system. So, we're gonna finish off with a couple of exhausts. Uh, we're gonna rev it up a couple times. I'm not expecting it to be super loud, but it's gonna sound a lot nicer at the stop. So, let me finish up the install. Let's do that for you guys. Yeah, turn it on. Let's let's see this sucker. I can see the valve in here. The valve opens up, right? Oh, it's closed now. It's a it's definitely a deeper rumble. Yeah, deeper rumble. Huh? One more unit. Oh, you're in uh, individual. Put it in race mode and see what it says, or it does. 
deeper rumble, but it's uh, quiet. Okay, let's uh, take it off the hoist. Holy man, I didn't warm up, man. It, po it popped. Okay, let's, uh, before I die here. Let's take it off the hoist before I die. you guys let's go for a quick rip here with the new exhaust system okay so just uh, give you guys a little bit of information the stock exhaust is two and a half inches and the Titan R1 is three inches wide and uh, the OEM type R exhaust has two resonators the difference between, if you didn't know, some of you guys might not know, the uh, Type S has only one resonator, and that probably explains why uh, it has a deeper growl, and uh, maybe it has something to do with the tune too, but uh, that's why it has a little bit of uh, burbles and stuff uh, when you let off on the gas, where the Type R is just like a vacuum cleaner. The whole point of me getting this exhaust was, of course, obviously the craftsmanship and the beauty, and and it's, it's, a, it's top notch, you guys, you cannot, there's no unmatched exhaust system out there right now on the market for the FL5. Two, um, I wanted it to be a little a little quiet because I have, in the GTR, it drones like no tomorrow, you guys. I wouldn't be able to vlog with you guys right now and talk with you guys normal, okay? Uh, that was the one goal in mind. And so far, I've taken the car for a cruise a few times and it's, it's lived up. At first, when I first started it up, okay, you guys, to be honest, I thought it was a little on the quiet side. I was just about to ask Gerald uh, to come, I was like, Gerald, we need at least one less resonator, single resonator instead of two. But after I drove it for a bit, honest, you guys, it's, it just hit the sweet spot for me. I'm hoping the GoPro can uh, catch all the sounds in the back without so much wind but it is what it is you guys I'm trying to try and get the best that I can um, yeah so we're in we're in, we're in our mode now where the valve should always open around 3,000 rpm it's, I know there's a way of we can force it open uh, I haven't done it yet but uh, when we're cruising we're open up hopefully you guys can hear it in the um, in the cabin here okay uh, that's the whole objective of this right now, this segment right now. Uh, I'm just waiting for the road to clear up. We're cruising around uh, 2,500 RPM right now in fourth gear. And it's it's quiet. It's, there's no absolutely no drone. If you guys are looking for a more louder, more, let's say, a little more obnoxious exhaust, maybe the Titan R1 is not one for you. But if you're looking for that top-notch, superior look and OEM plus a little bit of more of a growl, grunt exhaust, this one is for you. This one is definitely for you. Because I could daily this, no drone, and it's phenomenal, you guys. Absolutely phenomenal. The craftsmanship, I can't say enough. Chef's, chef's kiss. The road's open up right now. Let's give it a... without even screaming look at this guy doesn't even look but yeah I'm talking to you guys and I'm not screaming at the top of my lungs and you can hear me clearly and I got this is good audio I'm mic'd up so that you guys can hear it all and what can I say you guys this is the one exhaust for me we chose the right one so hope you guys enjoyed the vlog uh, don't forget to hit this don't forget blah, blah, blah. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, you guys. And if you guys are looking for the exhaust, I tell you right now a little bit of a secret. Hit up Envision Auto Imports. The dollar for dollar right now, at the time of recording, um, it's a lot cheaper than the States, you guys. I did do the comparison. I was gonna post uh, pricing-wise, but I don't wanna do that. Just hit them up and do the comparison yourself. You guys, I'm not lying. It's totally 
it's in your benefit. Hit up Envision All Imports. Canadian dollars right now is good to buy. See you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya.